Hey, I'm Steven from Rugged Routes, and today I just want to show you guys real quick how to create a boundary file so I can create custom satellite imagery maps for you. So this is a brand new thing I'm just trying out, just listed on the website last night, and it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's very easy, especially if you've used Google Earth Pro before, uh, which is free software. Uh, I'm going to walk you guys all through it, but basically if you come down here to the custom satellite imagery romance office maps listing on the website, See, we got a couple options here, and there's, you know, there's a couple things you need to be aware of. So, I'm only processing imagery at this time. So, uh, and that imagery is basically, I, I could do it anywhere within the lower 48 states. So, up in Alaska, Canada, Mexico, I don't have the data for that right now, so simply can't do it. Um, beyond that. We just needed the name of your project, so we'll just say uh, project. And I will label your SD card with your map on it with this name uh, before I send it out to you. And that way, if you order more, you know, you guys can just keep things organized. We're also going to need a new, need a boundary file so I know what the area is that you're needing. And we're also need to stay conscious of how many square miles uh, the area is that you want outlining and we can do both of this in Google Earth. So uh, Google Earth, if you're not familiar with it, can be downloaded straight from Google uh, at this URL. I'll post it below this video. Now when you go here, you're going to scroll to the bottom of the web page and you see this button right here, Download Earth Pro on a desktop. You don't want to do this in the browser, you want to do this in Google Earth Pro in the installed version on your computer. So go ahead and get that, install it, and then go ahead and open up Google Earth. So over here, uh, this is the Coral Pink Sand Dunes down in, um, I should say up in, up in Utah. So we're going to go ahead and create a boundary around around the sand dunes here. So up at the top, I'm going to click on Add Polygon. When you get that, this box is going to show up. And we're going to just let's test project. And you can, other, you can add other information for your own notes and colors and all that stuff. That's all just for you. What I really just need to know right now is the area of the area that you're interested in. When I say area of the area, how many square miles the area is. There we go. So it might be set on acres or square meters or something else. But um, for our purposes right now, we need to know square miles. So click square miles. We'll kind of move this out of the way as much as we can. Now you'll see my, my cursor, when I move it out onto the map, turns into this, this crosshair type deal. So now I can click and start dropping dots for the corners of my square. I do want square polygons as much as possible. I don't want any weird shapes. Uh, squares are the best. So it's okay if it's rectangular or whatever, but just try to keep it to four sides. So you can see I drew my square here, and right now it's only 110 square miles. And if we go back to the product listing on the website, you'll see that the first option here, up to 400 square miles, there's no additional charge. It's just covered in the base charge for, for building the map to get started. And then if you go over 400, uh, but you're below 800, then it's an extra 20 bucks, and it just keeps going up pretty far, so on and so forth. So. Um, We'll go ahead and jump back over here to Google Earth and see this is only 110 square miles. So let's go ahead and take full advantage of our 400. Actually, we're going to go over 400 just so I can give a better example here. So we're right at about 600. So that's over our 400 below our 8. So we're going to need to keep that in mind, our 597. And also, one other thing to keep in mind not that you have to do this, but I would really appreciate if you guys don't do uh, boundaries over state lines. So uh, this is the southern border of Utah right down here. And um, the reason for that is, is all my imagery is stored as separate states. So if you have an area that crosses a state line, I have to load a lot more data. In. The project becomes more complicated. It's not that I can't do it. It's just I'm going to pull my hair out a little bit trying to get that done for you. Uh, so I just I really prefer you. You don't go across state lines. So 
with that being done, I uh, will come back up here to this box and just click OK. And you'll see that test project is now listed uh, under our places. I'm just going to collapse this real quick. Oh, it actually saved it under here. We'll leave it under temporary places. It's a little neater that way. So we have it here, test project. And we can right click on it, go to save place as. And we're going to save this right here. I have a video folder in, under my downloads folder. So I'm just going to leave it there. Click save. And then we're going to go back to the website. So we'll go ahead and click upload file, select that file, the KMZ file that we just created from Google Earth. Click open. And you'll see that this is uh, your file was successfully uploaded. Click OK. And being that that was 600 square miles, it was over 400, but less than 8. So we'll select this one right here. Uh, then we can just hit add to cart. And from here, you just check out like you normally would. Uh, as if you were buying anything else, the checkout process on the website is pretty straightforward. And uh, another quick note is that uh, let's say you've got a couple buddies that you ride with, you all want a copy of this map. Well, if you guys order three or more copies of the same map at one time, uh, you'll save 20 bucks per map. So something to keep in mind. And that's all there really is to it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to comment below or shoot me an email. Thanks a bunch. Catch you later.